Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about animation in Procreate. I'm going to take you through this particular animation. I'll show you a demo of what it looks like. So this is what we're going to be creating. So hustle is crossed out and pace yourself and yourself is handwritten. So I'm going to show you how to create that just to show you what the demo file that you just saw, what that file ends up looking like. And yeah, so in here we have each single layer of the animation. So that gives you some sense of how animation in Procreate works. Basically, it takes um, a, a layer, a single layer. So if you want the background and the, this text, that's why that's all part of the same layer. If I add a black layer here, just so you can see what the actual individual layer is looking like, everything is on there that you want to, to show for that frame. So that's what we're going to be making today. So I'll take you back to the file that just has the components ready to go. My, my advice is to always start with the final frame of the animation of how you want it to look and work your way back to it. So we've got our background color, we've got hustle. I'll leave a link in the description below if you've not used text in um, Procreate before because that was a fairly new addition as well. So this is a text layer that I've rendered and then using just a brush, a standard brush, we've crossed out the hustle and put pace and yourself. So I'm just gonna start by grouping the components and I'll leave the background layer separate. So to do that, we just swipe to the right and you'll see you get the layers highlighted and then just press group and that makes it one element, but the layers are still intact. So that's a, that's where we start. So if you remember the first part of the animation just shows the hustle text and we get the cross through. So I'm gonna always keep one of the full layers intact at the top as a backup. And I would suggest you name your layers. So I haven't named that. To, to name, you just tap and press rename. And then I'm going to just call that cross out. Okay. Uh, so name all your layers. And this is our first frame. So we don't have pace and yourself on there yet. And then the next part of the animation is this cross out text. Now I should mention, I have set this document up as you can go into the canvas information to see 2000 by 2000 and 150 DPI. So I only intend this to be available digitally. So I'm not too bothered that it's not 300 DPI and I will probably put it on Instagram. So as long as your videos are over three seconds, Instagram is fine with that. So um, that's what we're working towards. And so now I'm going to add a mask onto my cross out and I'm going to, so black conceals, white reveals is our little motto. So now we've got the um, whole area showing, but what we actually want to do is animate it like written on. So I'm going to get rid of the majority of this cross out line. And we'll start with just an area like that. Okay, so that's the beginning of the cross outline. And the other layers, we don't need them, but we'll just leave them for the moment. You don't necessarily have to delete them. I'll show you in a second how to just merge the layer and that deletes them anyway. So don't worry about those other layers for the moment. So we're going back to our, our mask and we're going to reveal a bit more of this cross out. So I've got my white color and I'm painting on the mask. That's the right way around. So we're good at the moment. And then we make another layer, go back to your mask and do a little bit more. I would say to about there. And then we're going to duplicate this group again and do a little bit more. So as you can see, you do need patience because it does take some time. So what's happening here is the second part of that cross out is being revealed. So what I wanna do is just get the black and go back to the mask. Now I'll show you a little um, pro tip. If you hold down the color icon, it'll swap back to your previously used color. So this just allows you to get in and get rid of those extra bits that you didn't mean to reveal. And it might take you a little fiddling because some of those bits then, you know, you reveal too much and you have to go back, but that's fine. Just it's much quicker with this color swap. So we've got this next layer going that little bit further up towards the L. So we duplicate the group again, go back here and then a little bit more, duplicate the group again. 
go back onto our layer and I would just finish the whole entire lot then and now we're going on to the other um, cross out so the other part of the crossbar and I'll start at the top just find it by revealing painting and duplicate again I think you get the idea now I'll just speed up the rest of this part Okay, great. Between scenes, I would fix up your layers. So something I need to mention as well that you need to keep in mind is there's a layer limit in Procreate. So doing an animation like this, you can very quickly reach it just because you've got lots of different elements and frames. So remember, we've got our full group up here intact. So this, um, I'll even rename this back up because uh, that will remind us that we have that top layer that's always there so you don't accidentally merge something you didn't mean to. Okay, so in order to just catch up and tidy up here, what we need to do is just duplicate each one of the background and move it between uh, the groups. So as you can see, I swipe to the left to duplicate, press duplicate, and then just slide that in between the groups. Sometimes you accidentally get it in the group, just two finger tap to undo it and try again. It can be a little bit fiddly and keep going up but what we're going to do then now it's important that you um, pay attention that you're not merging too many but you just want to join the um, layer and the group so that they are on one layer because it, remember as we said before just make sure you've always got a background spare so that you can continue moving that single background between the layers but the reason we're doing this is because the animation shows a frame at a time so there's no there's no way to tell procreate what we need to use we everything um, in the animation has to be visible so this backup layer would not be included in the animation if we exported from here it would uh, only export the frames that are visible but the catch is that you just need it to be all on the same layer so that involves having a flattened layer per group to merge you just simply pinch those layers together so I'm just pinching the background with the group above it so that you can see if you can see the little icon that we're just merging that frame so it's on one layer okay so now what I have is one more spare background which we're going to keep for later and the group so the group has got all the elements intact and this is where we are up to with the animation so we've animated so far the cross going through so that's great and if you ever want to sort of see how it's looking how you're progressing you can just start to export as you would normally so you go into share and then we will most likely be using the animated MPEG, um, MP4 it's called. So I'm presented with a preview screen. So it's showing that white flash. Don't worry about that. We'll get rid of that background layer before we animate. But as you can see, we've got that first bit of the hustle being crossed out, working really well. And this little frames per second, this is our speed. So the higher the frames per second, the faster the animation will be going. And then we have the option to choose web ready or full resolution. So we'll look at that when we export for the final frame. But I just want to show you, you can sort of see how it's looking and give a little preview as you go. So the next bit, I actually had this pace come on, um, so P-A-C-E, come on one at a time, the letters. So how we're going to do that is exactly the same as before. We're going to make it a mask. So if you select on the layer, just tap it and press mask, you'll get this mask. So remember black conceals, so we want black in order to just fill in the rest of the letters. So we're masking these because we want the P to show first. And then exactly as we did before, we're gonna duplicate the group, go back to our mask and then swap back to the white and reveal the A in the next frame. And then we're going to duplicate the group again. And then we're going to go back to the mask and again, we will reveal the C. Duplicate the group, back to the mask and reveal the E. 
So now we've got our paste. So again, between different group scenes, I would just catch up with the layers. So previously, remember how we just made the duplicate of the background and um, put them, made sure that they were attached and flattened to the group that we're using and always make sure you have that group um, preserved on the top as well. So we can see we're up to pace has been revealed, the full word. So now we're on to the last final stage, which is revealing yourself, but in a handwritten way. So exactly the same. This technique is using masking. So the whole, you know, the whole technique of using masking, fill the layer with black. And now we'll swap to our white and we'll come back with the paintbrush and we will reveal. So it's around here somewhere. So you might just have to paint a little bit to find where it starts and you'll see I don't want that part of the letter so I'm just going to cover that up with black and then go back to our white. So again same method I'm going to speed this bit up and I'll see you in a second. Right, so now I have combined the animations so that frame by frame that your self text is revealing. As you can see, all the elements are on individual frames. So that's what we need. Uh, the rest of the animation is all good to go. This backup layer won't be included because the visibility is turned off. So just remember anything that's invisible won't be included. Anything that is visible will be. So also this background layer here, we're going to change to the same color because as you can see, that's white. And what the animation will do is cycle through once and then start from the beginning and cycle through again. And I'm just going to fill my background layer with this color by selecting it here. So now we are ready to go. We've got all our animation cycling through one layer at a time. So when you're ready to save out your animation, you just choose the spanner icon and go to the share panel. And then under here, we've got what type of format we'd like to save it as. I'm going to choose the animated MP4 option today, which is going to give me a video file. And I can also use this for Instagram as long as it's more than three seconds. So here we have a couple of options. We can choose the frames per second, which if you have less frames per second, it will play at a so slower speed. Or if you have that um, higher, at a higher rate, it will be a faster animation. So I've got mine at about 12 or 13. That seems to be a good speed. And then um, you can choose between web ready, which is a smaller file size, but less quality. I'm gonna choose full resolution today because I'm not too bothered about the file size being a little bit on the higher side. Might take a second or so because there is a lot of frames in the animation, so it'll just take a minute. Then when we're ready, we can choose save to files. I'm just going to choose iCloud today. You could choose your Dropbox if you prefer and add and our export was successful. Awesome. So we have a really cool animation. Um, this hustle being crossed out, pace yourself being written instead. Great, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. I would love to see your animation, so tag me on Instagram at Nicole Maloney and I would love to check out what you create. Thanks and see you next time.